essence. Right, one divine essence, God. yes. Yes. Yeah. And in, what partakes in, three, in it? What partakes in, in it? In three different states. What partakes in it? Come on, you can, I've been telling you this. You said, Father, yeah. Son, Holy okay. Spirit. They partake in what? In the essence. Yes, the divine essence, yes. Okay, okay how many divine essences are there? Wait, wait, let me tell you why he breaks the cross. Right. Because Jesus himself says, don't have no graven images of me, of God. And I'm saying that there are questions in our religion, fair enough, and there's also questions in yours. And you cannot just simply say the Trinity is all this and this when you have issues with understanding the nature of God as well. No, 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 we because many no, no, no. Muslims believe that Allah has body parts in a literal way. The definition of Messiah is the one who has come to redeem a nation. So if when you're calling him Messiah, you are recognizing his role as a sacrifice for the whole of humanity. And at a certain point in time and space, he took on a human uh, flesh, humanity, through the person of Jesus. But we do not believe that God, before that, just had body parts. That's heretical. Why? Because human yeah, is not good, is not divine. Why? Okay. Why can human God? Why? Wait, 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 wait. First of all, we've already established that Allah has body parts, so that's a big problem. First of all. Well, you, you said you didn't want to say it wasn't or it was, but there are Muslims who say it was. Let's tell you what it is, let's be honest here. Okay. There was, there's, there's been descriptions, okay, of, of parts, okay? It doesn't mean that he has body parts. It's like you said, hands, eyes, right. face. How that is to be understood, yeah, yeah, is something that we don't know. Okay, so so how the Trinity is, we don't know either. No, no. Come on. Hey, there you go. Hey, good hey, to see you again. I know you, man. Regardless of that, yeah, yeah. I'm saying there's nothing in what our understanding of God that contradicts His essence. Whereas Jesus, not being able to do things without the will of the other Father, which He shares the same things, He shares the essence. Not having knowledge of Judgment Day like the Father has shows you a lack of Him okay, okay. with His essence, brother. Listen, we believe that Jesus did know the day in his divine essence, but not in his humanity. Yes? So wait, so now he's got two separate essences? No, it's the same essence. So if we're well, careful, yeah. this guy's standing too close to you. I'm not going to lie. It's because we're my friend. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to get my head smacked. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Paul, do you understand what I'm saying? Is this recording? Yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm not trying to debate mm. you, I'm just yeah. trying to have a conversation with you. Yeah. You've got great mannerisms, you've got great respect, and it feels like we're actually having a sort of conversation. We're not talking of each other, shall we? Yeah. Honestly, like, now you're telling me that the reason Jesus at the beginning was God here yeah, is because he shared that one essence. Yes, the one divine God. essence, yeah. And then, As the second person of the And then you changed Broski, don't bring him camera, please, yeah? Uh, and then, brother, he's, he's not gonna... Uh, no, no, it's all right. Obviously, um, you could record me. I could force you not to. Yeah, yeah, I just told oh. you. I just cut you not oh, to. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. respectfully. I appreciate that. You've been respectful. I understand. I appreciate that. You guys, have, you guys have been legends, to be honest. Very respectful. Guys. Thank you. But I'm asking you, brother, yeah, that you're saying the reason he is God, yeah, the reason, reason is God, Jesus, is yep. because he shares in the essence, yep. that one essence of God. Yes, but the one divine essence. You said that, unfortunately, he has the God divine essence, and then yep. he has. He doesn't have a divine essence. No, he has humanity. So, now, so he's got two essences, but these no, two essences... No, not two essences. Okay. He has one divine essence and he has the fullness of humanity. Okay. Do you understand? So that divine essence is wrapped in his fullness of humanity and therefore he is limited through his humanity. Does it permeate? The essence, does it permeate? No, we say, they, the, we say that they don't mix. They don't so, mix? Yes. Yeah, so, 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 so two things, wait, two things that don't mix are separate. Yeah. They are distinct. They're distinct? Yes. And they're they also distinct. separate? No, they're not separate because they're in the one person of Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, wait. They're distinct? Yes. Okay. Because there is a divine they're nature and a person. human nature. They don't mix, but that means they're also separated by their lack of mixture. They're distinct they're by their lack of mixture. They're in one thing, yeah. but they're also separate. They don't right. mix, whatever you right. want to say. You can't take so Jesus' humanity. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's two essences in one person. The essence of humanity and the divine essence. Okay. okay, so if you want to say they that don't humanity don't is like an essence of humanity. Mix. Right. They don't mix. Right. Mm. You said, you said yes, they don't yes, mix. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, 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 so the, which the, one, wait, let me ask you, so which one takes precedent? Which one takes precedent? Yeah, the divine nature 
or the humanity, humanitarian nature? I'm not sure. No, but I'll tell you, assuming that he is, has lack of knowledge and he doesn't know that, that means right. the human lack of knowledge takes yeah. precedent over the... It, the it would seem so but in that me, instance, yeah. It does, but let me Because he, you know, in his humanity, is limited. Yeah, yeah, let me just finish one thing and then I'm going to go, yeah? You can definitely say something. Really. But that means a lack of something mm. is different from obtaining something. So if you've got this on, you've got this on, if I take it away, I've removed it, right? So you've got a positive and you've got a negative. So assuming that one of his nature has all of the knowledge, mm, yeah. and the other nature only has what knowledge that is given to him, or the human knowledge, it, or yeah, human yeah. knowledge yeah. Yeah. then where did his knowledge of day of judgment go? To his divine no, no, knowledge. It is in his divine nature. Yes. But you're saying he's operating out of both natures. Yes. Yeah? So at one point... Like a car can have the physical said, nature of metal and no, no, plastic no, 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 at the same the time. Forget all of that, bro. Why? I'm telling you, he's got the, because that's it's irrelevant. No, I'm trying to explain to you how someone you, can have two natures, right? Forget all of that, bro. I'm telling you, he's got knowledge of everything that is yes, his essence. Yes, and his divine, that's his essence. His divine essence divine in one essence, of his natures that he fully embodies, yeah? as well as his full essence okay. of his humanity. And he's got another one in his other hand, yeah. which is the human. Nature, yes, right? yes. In his okay. humanity, he is limited. Okay. This and is I'm why Christians. Wait, 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 let me let me explain. Yeah. I, I, that is not my knowledge to know. Okay, but let me explain. What? what we do know is that there are times when the divine essence perme permeated his humanity. And we know that because in scripture it says, okay. in his spirit, okay. he knew the thoughts of men. Okay. And we know that comes from his divine uh, nature. And then there were other times when he didn't. There were times when he ate, when he, he slept, okay. and okay. when he didn't know things. Okay. And that is also recorded in scripture. Okay. So we fully so, affirm both. So, so now let me explain this to you now. Okay. In my opinion, rather than them coexisting inside him, yeah, okay. we're going to make a little bit more sense to say, that he's got a fully human nature. Okay. He is fully human, wait, wait, yes. At all times, yeah. let me explain. He is at all times, yes. In my opinion, yeah. Okay. And then at times, yeah, something supersedes it, which is why I'm talking to you about something mm. supersedes that human nature mm. and he gets divine mm. inspiration, right. divine. Right. And, but we believe wait, that it comes from himself. Wait, yeah. Temporarily, yeah. yeah. Supersedes that human nature. And the reason why I tell you it doesn't come from himself mm. is because when he tells you mm. where all of this divine nature comes he from, he says it comes from him. He tells you where, where does it come from? Father, right. But where does says, it come from? Wait, wait, wait. The father is not Wait, 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 wait. wait. The father, Remember what we said earlier? Who did Jesus, uh, who can uh, Christians pray to? We are told we can pray to Jesus in Jesus' name well, I, and he will answer the prayers. I'm trying to explain to you all of the other sides. No, we just, yeah, just okay. stay restricted to this. Okay. Point, Jesus bro. says he raised them about the nature. We're talking yep. about the nature. Right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're talking about nature. If you're talking to me about he raises himself from the dead. Yes, right? Jesus okay. said he does that himself. Okay. So it you have a problem here. So do we have to explain how Jesus has the authority to do that. Huh? So it means that we fundamentally disagree about what Yeah, we fundamentally are. disagree. Yeah, we're, we're going to disagree. But but what I'm just going to say to you is this. If you have a, yeah. Yeah, if you have a problem with God having uh, entering into his creation or having some aspects of creation, you need to remember that Allah has body parts in some way. So you're also going to have that difficulty. Has been described okay. in the Quran yes. and in the Hadith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's been described yeah. in these ways. Okay. Right, right. To say yeah. that he has hands, yeah. Yeah. eyes, and this is not what I indulge in. But just for you, but just for you, just so you, just yeah. so you understand, yeah. Yeah. it's like me saying the river is running. The river is running. Yeah, the river is yeah. running downstream. Okay. Does that mean that the river stretches its toes and starts running? Well, no, but if I told okay, you I there we, there we would go. reveal my shin to you, there we go. There what we would go. that mean? Where's the foot of the house? Right, but he's not using allegories, is he? How Unless you, you well, okay, okay let we me go. explain. There what are Muslims, I'm is, right? What I'm telling you is that there's massive room, okay, right, right. for interpretation. Yes, with but, all of the, wait, wait, but many with Muslims all of the, will wait, tell me forget literally. Forget about many Muslims. Forget about every single one that I've but, seen. Okay. I'm saying that the, all of that room, all of that room for interpretation, yeah, mm. means that it's sort of unfair or sort of uh, biased or maybe a weak position to take here yeah, for you to sort of narrow it down to a particular position and then use that narrowed position okay. to then support. A wide there are many Muslims who would affirm that Allah has body parts in maybe, a literal way. Maybe there is. Hashim affirms is. this. The Sheikh of the Park maybe affirms this. Maybe there is. Okay. Maybe there is. Right. Maybe there's it's, many a Muslims. it's a traditional Sunni maybe line of thought. There, maybe there is. Okay. But that, yeah. So you need to wrestle with that. No, 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 I don't. Just, because I right, could just why? tell you, I could very easily tell you that personally, mm. I don't prescribe like to that belief. Says that. But yeah, there's nothing like it. 4211, I think. There is nothing like it. Right, right. So, so what does it mean? 
Okay. So what does it mean when Allah says there's nothing like uh, in creation like Him? Exactly. So what right. do you think? This is creation, yeah? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quran is creation, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is nothing like it. Right. So what does it mean when Allah talks about his shin? Okay. In shin. Shin. In Surah 68, Ayah 42. Shin, yeah, yeah. So, what, so what, is, is it, what is it? Nothing like the shin you are thinking of. What's the mouth of the cave? Because, listen, this is what it is. If I tell you something here, and I tell you something here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You can't just look at this and then just look at same, this individually. This is the same. You right. look at them together, right? Right, right. So I do look at them together. You have that to Allah really is not like his creation, no, 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 but here's an allegory said, of creation. He never said he's not like your creation. He says he, wait, he never just said that. He right, said okay, he's not just nothing, that, but yeah. He's nothing right. like anything you can comprehend. Right, okay. He's greater. Right. You get okay. It. Okay. But then he uses anthropomorphic language to describe so, himself. So you can understand. I don't understand know the what? Of Allah. So, so then I would have to say Allah has a shin in some way. It might be the best shin. It might be the, might be the most majestic shin. Allah has a shin in some way. You Why? say Allah has described himself as, as having, having a shin. shin. That's it. You so Allah the has a shin then. Why? Because, because when you say yeah. Allah has a shin in some way, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are forcing yourself. Yeah to comprehend the concept of shin and <laughs> okay. wait, let me finish well, and therefore yeah, wait yeah. and therefore apply that analogy to Allah right. whereas whereas Your what you should be do, no, no, yeah. whereas what you should be doing is saying that Allah for some reason has, has a used no okay. has used the analogy of, of shin okay. Okay. and apply it to himself I, I don't know and, and apply it to himself okay. and I don't know which aspect of shin okay. he desires to take that attribute to himself okay. Okay. I don't know which particular okay. aspect so does it have a meaning? Because, wait a minute of course it has a meaning that he understands but not us, no, it's not what meant for us to know what does shin to mean to you? it's this part of your leg yeah is that what it means? Well, that's so, what a shin so is so yeah. if you have a shin you must have a foot Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you yeah. have a foot, you must have a knee. And yeah, you yeah. see that that is your understanding of the word shin. Right. Just that like is your the understanding only understanding of the, of the, the word, word shin. running right. means what? Right. Using your legs to run. Yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah, yeah. And the word of speaking is using your vocal cords to speak. Yep. Now, if I said to you the river is running, okay. and the only thing, the only concept right. of the word running, wait, 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 okay. I wanted to incorporate yeah, yeah. was the, the aspect of movement. Yeah, yeah. You can understand how you can easily get sidetracked right. by what, the moment you say running means. Okay, but that's that's an allegorical yes. meaning okay. that, that Muslims deny that it's allegorical. allegorical. Yeah. Muslims say it, it is a literal so some, verse. some Muslims say it's literal. Yes. Some Muslims say it's allegorical. Some Muslims say it might even be a combination of literal and allegorical that I don't understand. Even the ones that say it's a literal meaning, okay. they say that literal meaning is not the literal meaning that me and you can comprehend. So it's meaningless even to though, us. Huh? It's meaningless to us. It's not meaningless to us. But we, we can't but how comprehend do we know it. We can find meaning. You see when something is but, uncomprehendable. Yeah, yeah, but look, wait, wait, if wait, wait. I tell you... You see um, when something is uncomprehendable. If I tell you... You can find meaning in it. If I, in yeah, yeah, listen, listen, listen. If I just say random words to you, they'll have no meaning. If I say sausage, banana, pillow, what's the meaning? There is no meaning. It's like in the same way that when Allah talks about his body parts, so they have no said, meaning. When you said what sausage, banana and what? Pillow. Sausage, pillow. banana, pillow, yeah. You think that it had no meaning. Right. But really and truly, they do the, have a meaning. Wait, wait, the meaning behind it was to give, to make a point. Right. Okay. Right. And that means. And that's wait, wait, wait. because I've explained it to you. No, no, no. But yeah, you're explaining it but to Allah me. But Allah never explained what he meant by the shin. Is this, yeah. that you had an intention behind right. it. Yes, yes. And if, in line with your original intention, mm. there is a meaning behind it. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Now me, I will never fully know your intention. Right. But if you have expressed your intention yeah. clearly, yeah. Or, or okay. So can, what this would mean? Wait, I can obtain okay. meaning from yeah. it. Okay. So, so what when this... Allah uses these things, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there is meaning in it. Right. But He has not obtain... communicated that meaning, so we no, do no, not no, know. No, no. We cannot comprehend the. Okay. So we don't know then. Of... We don't know anything I, about it. I don't know. Yeah, but, I don't know yeah, yeah, you don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know what a shin is. I don't know what it is. But yeah, yeah, it, it might have meaning, meaning to Allah, but it doesn't have any meaning to us. It doesn't mean that it doesn't have any meaning to us. So, so, so is context, that meaning to get from a shin? Said, he hasn't said to you, I have, by the way, I have right hands, a shin, I, he's right. used that yeah. in... To wait, wait, describe wait, wait, wait. himself. No, 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 he's used... So for example, in the Bible, it says when it says, and God's eyes run across, across right. the Right, we, we understand okay. that mid okay. We have never thought that's for literal body parts of God. Do you understand that? Okay. But Muslims do. But you see the meaning in that? Right, but we've never had that understanding that you have. No, but do you see the meaning? Yes, but I'm okay. trying to talk about what Muslims now we're believe. The understanding that we right. Have. So what do Muslims believe about the shin? The that we have is that everything that Allah says here right. has meaning and has truth. But it isn't communicated. To the extent, no, right. has meaning and has truth and is communicated, okay. but it's our access to it that is. The, that is so it has no meaning then. So believe the howlers to Allah. What's that? What's that? We are, believe the cave to Allah. Wait, wait. Well, but one second, when Allah, so, when, one second, when Allah talks about the shin, what does that mean? But listen to me. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm suggesting him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There is meaning. God says the Quran has meaning upon meaning upon meaning. Depending right. on you and depending on Allah's will, you obtain meaning upon meaning upon meaning upon meaning. Okay. Okay. But the, the meaning cannot the be understood is, because we do not understand not what Allah's shin is. It's not that cannot be understood. Is that so you Allah can understand what Allah's shin is. I just want you to get the point because you keep going over back and forth. Comprehension okay. and understanding yep. are different things. Right, okay, so we'll we cannot be, comprehend or understand it. We will never be able to comprehend, not, not just what he said, Right. him. I, okay, that's fine, I, I get that, but I'm just talking about so his shin. When in Surah 68, Ayah 42, it says his yeah. shin, what does that mean? It will never be fully comprehended. Do you know at all? Can you give me anything about what that shin is? I'm telling you, people have. People, people have given okay, you tell, tell me what it means. Meaning. People have given you allegorical okay, meaning. When it's a literal <laughs> meaning, what is it? What is it? Is it like, is it like this shin? Give the harness to it to Allah. That's right, so, so you first. can't tell me, right? We don't know I can't tell See, you. See, uh, right, so there is. If you take it literally, then there is no meaning we can get from it. Only Allah knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. Himself, yeah. There you go. If you take it literally, of course you can't take meanings from it. The full yeah, right, right, right. Right, the right exactly. That's it. That's, a, that's all I wanted to know. That's all I wanted to know. The full extent of the meaning, though. No, no, there is no meaning because only Allah knows what his shin is like. Do any Muslim know what Allah's shin is like? Right, therefore, when Allah literally says he has. But if he says. It means it might not have comprehension. That means the only person who knows the meaning is Allah. Is Allah. If I made a point to you. See, he's happy with it. If I made a point to you. I made a point. Right. And I knew what I meant with my point. Yeah, yeah, but I could, I could infer your meaning. You yes. could yeah. infer my meaning. Right. And you, that only you even, would know it. And even when I gave you the meaning point blank, you couldn't even comprehend it. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's you. Right. That's not me. Yeah, but I'm saying okay. this is that in the that's Quran. The words that I said. Right. Doesn't, doesn't right. Change. If there are Let's part. Let's go back to the original point, bro. Okay. Which is the divine nature, bro. And, yeah. and, and I'm saying that there are questions in our religion, fair enough, and there's also questions yeah. in yours. It's not. And you it's cannot not. just simply say the Trinity is all this and this when you have issues with understanding the nature of God as well. No, 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 we because many no, no, no. Muslims believe that Allah has body parts in a literal way. We said Islam says you won't be able to comprehend right. Allah. We also and believe that God is uncomprehensible, be yes. In, in fullness, yes. Okay. In, right. In, in, in right. But we don't believe that God has okay. body parts. We don't believe that God has body parts. His nature is spirit. At a certain time he became incarnate in the person of Jesus. Yes. Spirit is immaterial. Okay, so some a time immortal, immi time eternal, God is spirit. Yeah, he is immaterial. And then at a certain point in time and space, he took on a human uh, flesh, humanity, through the person of Jesus. But we do not believe that God, before that, just had body parts. That's heretical. That to us, that's that's anathema. But in your religion, Allah has body parts and seemingly has always had body parts. And so I don't think you can say God is immaterial. He's been described like that. Okay. Right, but now is it literal or not? Come, for God to have come in, into just to have come into a human form, mm -hmm. it means he's before that was he God? Yes, he was spirit. Okay, he was God's spirit. nature so is spirit. Did, so did he change? No, he took onto himself a human nature. So is that a change? No, he added to is his that, human nature. So adding is, yes. is that a change? No, because you have God and, and then God enjoins to himself. Yeah, is that adding? No, he's he, his nature is the same. But is it adding? He added humanity to himself, so he's yes. Add, so he's changed? No. <laughs> his own nature has not changed. His own nature? Yes, his, his own nature has but not Jesus changed. Jesus is God. Oh, that's right. Huh? Jesus in his entirety is God. You can't say that yes. Jesus is not God, but he has God yes. aspects. So actually, you can say that before this, he, Jesus, Jesus is, uh, as the uh, humanity was not um, was not there, and then afterwards it was there added to it, yes. But we're, what I'm saying to you is that the Spirit of God so, so Father, Son, humanity, and the Holy Spirit so is always humanity, there and has never changed. To God doesn't change. Doesn't change. But saying, yeah, because there's still Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So adding humanity yeah. to the essence of God does not yeah. reduce it in anything. Any it doesn't change it, no. There is still change. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So, so, human, so the fact that humans are weak, the fact that he, Jesus would have died even if no one killed him, yep. yeah, the fact that he had to go to the toilet and get circumcised, yeah, yeah, it was fully human. The, the fact that he had to eat, yeah, yeah, fully yeah, yeah. Human. the yeah. fact that he didn't have knowledge, yep. yeah. or at least, the fact at least that he needed least permission yeah. Yeah, yep. from the other essence of God, from the yeah, other yeah, God, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. rather than from himself. Yeah. Although yeah. he could speak uh, on an authority of himself. As in he said, remember we showed you the verse where he said, you can uh, pray to me and I will answer it. He, didn't, he, he said he did it with the father, but what, he's, he's not saying, oh, this is the father doing it for me. Do you, do you understand what that means? It's like if I'm the king, bro, mm. and you came to the king's house and you knocked on the door, 
And I said, I can open you the door yeah, yeah. and I can give you what you want. Mm. But the king is the king right. and I'm only doing his work. Yeah, but you can, there are certain it things that you show can, you that no, okay. no matter, Look, even if I'm his second advisor mm, or whatever, mm, that yeah. I'm not the king. Wait, wait, Th there are certain things that only the king can do in your analogy, yes? Like for example, if the king has yeah. uh, sexual relations with his wife, only the king can do that, yeah? So he can't just make another person do that on his behalf. That would be absurd. You understand that there are certain that's, things only the king can do. That's what I'm telling you. That's what you right, but then Jesus you claims to be able to do all things but, uh, himself. But that's what you, you are claiming is going on. Do you see how absurd that is? Why? Because on earth, he couldn't do anything by himself. Listen, he does everything with the will of the Father. When, yes, but Jesus himself. Yeah, but Jesus himself raised himself from the dead. Jesus himself performed miracles. Yes, John chapter 2, verse 18 to onwards. It means that he himself raised himself from the dead. He raised himself from the dead. It means that he, his physical humanity died and his divine essence raised himself from the dead. So his physical humanity died. So physical humanity died. Yeah. His physical humanity died. Yeah. Okay. And then what happened to his essence? His, his, his essence his, remained untouched his divine because his divine essence okay. is the one that is partaken of by Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So that means God didn't die, did he? He did, in his humanity. So God never died? In his humanity, God died. God didn't die in the sense that God You're didn't cease existing. Yes, the divine so that, essence. So that's separate from humanity. No, it was enjoined in the one person of Jesus Christ. It was enjoined in the one person. I'm yes. Saying, I'm saying the humanity died. Yes, the humanity the of Jesus died. Stayed. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So I don't understand why you're confused. Yeah, I'm only, I'm, I don't understand why you're missing the contradiction. Brother. Why is it a contradiction? I'm because telling you the humanity the, died and the divine essence didn't die. So that means God never died. In the sense of it, God uh, ceasing to exist. Because no, God, God never ceased to exist. God, God can't cease to God exist. God isn't the fusion of the divine essence with the human essence. That's not what God was. In the person saying, of Jesus no, no, Christ, no, no, but you're saying God, God the is the essence. humanity and the divinity in one person. Before that, was Jesus, did Jesus exist before they came? As the person, no. As the person? No, sorry. Uh, as the, the, yeah, as the humanity is the person of Jesus Christ, no. But the second person of the Trinity, the Son, did always the exist essence, preeminently. The essence always existed. You get yeah, it? there is one divine essence partaken of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's a divine essence in three what, persons? Yes. Okay. So before that person was even created, where was that essence? Right, there hasn't been a time since that person was created. Before Jesus was born, though. Yes, it was, it was with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah, so that essence still existed. Yes. Was it distinct from the Father and the, Son and the Holy Spirit? No, it's indivisible from them. It's indivisible from you them. You can't separate the divine essence from Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You can't separate them? Yeah. So where does it travel from? It's immaterial. It's what immaterial. are you referring to? Yeah. It's not, we're not talking about something created. You keep thinking it's created. I'm not talking about something created. I'm saying right. that there's You sound three, very confused. No, you sound well, because it's very confusing. There's it's three really not. There's what three, I find confusing is Allah having body essence. parts. There's three essences. Bro. No, there's one essence. I keep telling you this, but you keep confusing no, no, it. No, no, there's one essence. Right, one divine essence, God. yes. Yeah. Yes. And in, what partakes in, in it? What partakes in, in it? In three different... What partakes in it? Come on, you can, I've been telling so this. You said... Father, yeah. Son, Holy, Holy Spirit. They partake in what? The essence. Yes, the divine essence, yes? Okay. okay, how many divine essences are there? There's three divine essences. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that so share the same essence. Is, look, okay, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they all partake in what? Brother, listen to the me. Listen, I want you to answer this because you're answering your own question, but then you give a different answer. Listen to they are essence. partaking in the one what, divine what, essence. What is the essence? The essence is the very fabric of what something is, yes? Very and the Father, fabric. Son, and the Holy Spirit the very, all partake not, not, in not that divine essence not, not, fully. Not, not any fabric, right. the fundamental okay, fabric. Okay, okay. And uh, what the partakes in it? That can't be simplified. Okay, anymore. and what partakes in it? Okay. What part, just answer the question. Well, this is what you're saying partakes in it. That's not what I believe. This is what you're Yes, I know. I don't want you to understand what I believe. I understand what you're trying to say. I don't think I'm you trying to quite show understand you the what I believe. There is no there, contradiction. There we've, is, we've been going around this for a while now. And there is a contradiction. There is a contradiction. Of course, I don't know. He because hasn't been explained Jesus, it yet. When Jesus came to this earth, right? When he was born. When, yes, when he was yes. born. Yes, we believe that the second person okay. of Trinity came into the person okay. of Jesus through the okay. incarnation, so the hypostatic where union. Where did that essence come from? The, the, God, divine, the essence divine essence came from God. He had the human essence. It came from what? The divine essence, which is God, yes, indwelled yeah. within the person of Jesus Christ. Okay. Right. So God, yeah. God the Father. Yes. Yeah. Separated from his essence. No, didn't separate from his what essence. Did he do then? I don't understand what you. <laughs> what happened? The divine essence because is it now. Said, it says in the Bible yeah. that he, through the word, mm. yeah, yep. impregnated Mary. 
He booked no, not, home. Not yeah. through, not, not through, yeah. Through, 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 what does it say? It, Aaron, what does yeah, it say? Yeah, you have to give me that. What does it say then? It dwelt upon her, it didn't impregnate her. It as in it, well, yes, and through that the okay. person of... It says it's reasonable. Yeah, of course, so is he. He's been reasonable as well. Yeah. Okay. He's been as well. So, so why am I... Just, let's just think of it this way. There's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They all fully partake of one divine essence. There is only one divine essence, yes? And Jesus Christ is fully divine and fully human. And there is one person of Jesus Christ. See, I don't understand why that's a problem. Because being fully human, brother, yes. fully human. Which means he is limited in his humanity. Because as a human... Okay. Being fully human means you're limited. Yes, it, he had to eat. Jesus had to eat. Being fully God yep. means you're unlimited. Can God choose to enter his own creation? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, but can no, no, God choose to enter his own well, creation? All of that. But don't forget all of that. If, if the answer that God can't enter his own creation, you're not talking about God anymore because you're not talking about a maximally great being. God can, can God do all things that are logical? God can do all things. Right, so he can enter his, into his own creation. God, listen, it's like me saying... So you just affirmed, right? That's just, a contradiction. <laughs> God entering his own creation is a contradiction. No, a contradiction. So God can't do that. Because when God enters into his own creation, mm -hmm. his own creation is not God then. He's entered into something. Right, but God can do that, yes? Because so he's all powerful. That, so when he does that, right. what does that mean? Does right. that mean that, that thing he enters... Can God, can God so remain it's God it's while it's also... Like <laughs> God, okay. fully man. Very simple. How? Very simple. Can God do anything? Ask some questions. <laughs> For me to understand what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. I have pretty... to speak to you with English. Okay. Oh, I understand. There we go. And for me to respond, it has to be in English. Yeah, okay. All right. And there's and if I just have a concept and it's not properly articulated in English, you can never accept that concept. Well, this is My I'm point is this. Fully God yeah. 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 and fully man, fully man, fully man. is yeah. the same as me saying to you, can you be inside the house yeah. 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 and outside the house? No, it's like I saying... No, 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 no. I'm not saying... Wait, wait, this is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say to you, I'm not trying to say logically, this is why I use this example. Wait, but no, 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 wait. This is, what, this is why I use English. I'm not trying to say to you that logically it doesn't make sense because... God can have one half foot inside the house yeah, yeah. and the other half foot outside the house. So technically he's inside and outside yeah. the house. Wait. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying to you is in terms of the, the logical syntax of the words we are speaking, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. Because no, it once does. you say, Let me explain. I'm fully human, yes. I'm accepting everything that you say as gospel. Okay, yeah. fully, fully human, human. Yes. yes, and fully yeah. divine. Fully yes. human yes. Yeah. means that you are limited. No, not necessarily. It means Look, because okay. there's certain let, things... Let, let me explain, yeah. right? In the beginning, yes, God created us. Hold on, hold on, bear with me. Stay with this one. I am, I am. I'm going to give it context first off. Yeah? In the beginning, God created us in his image. Okay? It says, let us make man in, in, in our image. Okay? According to the scripture, it says, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. When you die, you're made in God's image. When you die, what happens? What, what decays? Yes. What happens to your spirit? What's the spirit and the soul? I don't know. Right. Do you, does your body go according to your belief? Does it go to Allah? My body. Your your your, your spirit. Yeah. Okay. What happens to your body? Okay. Right. How many parts have you mentioned so far? Two. Right. I'm saying to you that the very design of man is made in the image of God. But yet I see one. You've just mentioned two parts to you, but I only see one. Because the design of man, uh, body, soul, spirit, in one, is a divine soul and spirit. So you can say that one is immaterial and our body is material, and yet we are comprised of both immaterial and material at the same time in one person. It's not what, sorry. Sorry, excuse me. My point is obviously, no, it's not really. My point is that it's not, everything is not where it seems. I understand that. No, 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 I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is there's one part to you that I'm looking at now, but there's more than one part to you. But I get you. That's fine as well. Right. What I'm telling you is this part. Now you see this body, yeah, and you see the spirit that you can't see, they don't actually contradict each other. Okay. But they don't, you don't right. contradict. No, no, but the thing is, with being fully human uh -huh. and fully God, yes. in my opinion, yes. is a contradiction. Why? Because okay, let me human ask is simply okay, good, let me ask, limited, let me ask you this. and God is unlimited. Okay, this okay. is a good point, okay? 
let me ask you this can God do anything yes no, this is answer it God can he do anything he can can he exist in multiple forms as he pleases can he exist in multiple, in multiple forms? forms as he pleases in any form whatsoever or any hybrid of forms God, let me tell you this God could do anything good my understanding of okay. God if right. I prescribe a certain thing to what God can do sure by me even dictating that it's a possibility and that it's happened will be disrespectful to God okay it will be Except, contradictory and I agree I agree, I agree with you to, the to a degree essence of what I understand God to do oh, so by, by that sorry. So, no, you've been very good. You've always been quiet. I want to give you a chance to speak. Yeah, no, because the thing is this. The point I'm getting to is this. Why is God coming in the form of a human being in the first place? What is the purpose? What does it mean? Why does a God who is all-powerful, all-knowing, omnipotent, come in the form of human flesh in the first place? It's crazy. And explain why. I am trying to understand why you would do that. What I can I'm explain this, it, but... If that's what you're saying, if that's what you're saying... Then that's the question. Is, then that's, then that's, this is how I would understand it. Okay. I would understand this, that God uh, chooses, yeah, he was God, yeah, he chooses to leave his essence, yeah. to abandon his divinity, okay. and can become a human being. Can I correct you? So, okay, okay, according to John yeah. chapter 1, yeah. Um, from 1 to 16, it yeah. talks about in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and through Him, hold on, through Him all things were made. The power to create is a divine attribute. That's true. Hold on, hold on. Then in verse 15, it says, and the Word became flesh. In other words, divinity put on humanity. So there were times when Jesus would operate through His humanity depending on the lesson that needed to be taught and there were times that it was essential he operated for his divinity to establish his authority that he is God which is why there were times when the, the Jews wanted to stone him to death because he you blaspheme you be man are saying you're God we're gonna stone you to death but there were times when he says I pray to my father through his humanity, he had to teach us submission. Do you understand? Well, I understand how you're trying to present it. It's just, it's just no, how it's presented. I, I understand, obviously, how you, maybe even you've understood it. Yeah. But my point being this, is that if he truly wanted to present himself as divine, or present himself as human, yeah, those things are intrinsically contradictory, as in, God could have created two versions of itself, for example, made one of them non-human, and made one of, kept one non-human, and made another one Should human. I tell you why you it's not contradictory? Because the very essence of his maker needed to teach a lesson of reconciliation, of man being reconciled back to God. Fully God, fully man. Combination. That's why he exists. His very existence yeah. is to draw man who was far from God, I understand, I understand, back to I understand, the Father. I understand the issue, the thought behind it, the intention that you guys are defending. No, 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 that's but what I'm, the Bible teaches. I'm, I'm, I'm not telling that wouldn't be the intention, I'm telling you, is that even consistent, uh, theoretically, yep. being fully human and fully God? Oh my God. Oh, we are, we need to because know. what we believe by God is the supreme, okay? Any weakness, yes. any... Can I then explain? I understand yes. where, where, where the challenge is. All right, so when Adam and Eve, yes, when they fell in the Garden of Eden, they sinned, yes? Now, in the Bible, it says that God cast Adam and Eve out, but he gave them what? He gave them skin, animal skin. The reason why he gave them animal skin is the very first sacrifice. You're Adam. This is Adam, you know what? You've sinned. But you know what? There's a coming a time when I will bring a sacrifice for the sin that your you hold on, hold on, please. That you and your generation will commit. I will deal with it once and for all. As a lesson, he takes a lamb. He cuts the lamb's neck. Sorry pours the blood 
Yes, because without blood, there's no remission of sin. He take, he says, one day, my son, who will be the Lamb of God, will come and he will be sacrificed in the same manner. And his blood will be shared. As a remembrance, here, this is skin. I'm going to cover you with this skin so that you remember that there's a savior coming for the human race. I'm not going to be pedantic and say he wasn't killed in the same way and all of these things. Yeah. My point is just on the, on the basic thing, on the sure. fundamental thing of just being fully dead boy and fully human, yeah. which is for me the same thing as being fully that. unlimited yeah, yeah. and fully limited at the same time. But I explained to wait, you wait. what? Yeah, I just want to say, yeah, it is important, like, so we are fully material and fully immaterial and everything no, that it means to be. No, because no, we fully make up the spirit, no, so the soul, no, no, no. and we fully make we, up the flesh. No, 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 no. we have a composite. Right. something that is material right. and something that is immaterial. Right. Yeah. So are you I fully material those, but those two are contradictory. No, no, no. According to uh, you. Yeah, they are contradictory. So one is, one is, one is you, matter, one is not matter. Not, not in my me, mind, me, because I see when you. I see, yeah, no, when I say you, uh, yeah, yeah, and I say you as well, yeah. let's be honest. What do I mean? Okay. My spirit. I mean, your spirit and, and my body. body. Because if you was, God forbid, yeah, if you was just a body right now, this guy's too aggressive. Right. If you was God for good, yeah, if you was yeah. yeah. fed, uh, yeah. you had your body in the living room, yeah. Yeah. your family, they would call you the yeah. body. Yes, the bo my body will be there, but my spirit will be back at God. Yeah, yeah. I would separate. Yeah, but your family wouldn't refer to you as your name. Yes, yeah. they would. They would. They would know that my spirit is with God. Okay, they would. But that. That, that is body decays. That body is a composite of you. Yeah. When I speak to you, yeah. even though I might not even believe in the spirit, but I yeah. do, I believe that you are a composition of this body yes. yeah, and the spirit. This body so is just a shell. No, it's, yeah, it's part of you. But yeah, it's part of me, but it's a shell. I wouldn't say to you, you are fully material and fully spiritual because but I am. Yeah, but, you are but, I am. You make no, but I am. Are you fully a man? I'm well, fully spirit. And you are fully also fully spirit. Let's listen. Let's, 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 I know what you. You guys have. This is this is why I'm telling you. This is where words become very important because even understanding this concept yeah, means that if I don't use certain rules, I won't be able to speak about other concepts properly. And with this much, so I understand that you have a, your co your composite of something that is completely, yeah, completely physical and completely, yeah, spiritual. But when I use the word fully, yeah. when I use the word fully, yeah. it means like a cup when it's full, yeah. there's no room for anything else. For me to say you are fully God, I'm fully man. There was, it's different for me to say that in this in that context, yeah, but, yeah, but, wait, 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 we'll leave it to the physical, we'll leave it to you as a person. Wait, wait, so for me to say you're completely physical, I have therefore ignored the spiritual aspect, no? You're completely physical. Yeah. Come to the spiritual. Yeah. If I said you're completely spiritual, yeah. I've ignored the physical. If yeah, I said but, you are made up of yeah. something that is physical and something that is spiritual, yeah, God, now I've accommodated God, God, God in right. His divine wisdom. Do you get it? And His divine understanding. Yeah. And His in His plan to save mankind, decided to exist as fully God and fully man. But, yes. But do, do, and walk but in this you, dimension. You understand. I understand oh, what you're you know, saying. I'm you know, not struggling. But you know why? But God, God but you know, can do anything. But do you know why? Do you know why? I think you're, you're getting confused no, between no, the two. No, no, I'm not. Do you know why? Because uh, this is why. Because God is unlimited. We'll leave it as this prophecy. God is unlimited. Yes. And the human being is limited. Okay? Yes. Yes. So, unlimited is a plus. Okay. I've got and limited. Enough. Is, is a negative right yeah. right when something limited yeah. yeah and a positive is together minus and a plus what is that in maths uh, it's Two not plus. minus and plus but i see what you're you, trying to say my point is it's not opposite polars we're yeah. they're it's working about, together it's not about opposite no, 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 can no, i can i that. can i explain you something you me because my analogy yeah but you're you're, you're saying According to what you're saying, My saying you're saying is the divinity, the divinity is unlimited, unlimited. and the, the humanity is, is unlimited. No, 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 said, no, 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 no. Is 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 limited. Sorry. Wait, wait. The, it's limited. Okay. So stop now, there. stop there, please, you sir. To have sir. Please, sir. Stop there. So, divinity unlimited, humanity limited. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Now, the humanity 
of Jesus' side of it, yes, had to teach complete reliance, hold on, complete reliance on the unlimited divini divinity that exists. He had to teach that, yes, and that's why he had to come limited in his humanity, fully dependent on the Father, yes, fully to teach us how we are to build and restore our relationship with the Father. Teach us but by his divinity was to teach us by, To teach us by analogy, right? To teach us by, by example. By example. Okay. So the better Jesus. example, the better example, brother, yeah. would be someone who's a little bit more similar to you. Yeah. That would be the best example, which is a prophet. What the, what the, the best I've wanted to use what the, you someone. as an example for me to learn on how to worship the Father and how to pray to the Father. What, what these things, the, I'd be something more in line with me. I'd use a human being, a prophet, to teach me yeah. how to return back Does to the Father to worship the Father. Yeah. I wouldn't no. use something What's that I know. 100% I will he never be able to be He is God. God. He, he used God. to use Jesus. He he he, that was Jesus the vehicle and the essence. He's a, he's a prophet. He's not called a prophet. A noble, a noble prophet. No, he's not. In my opinion. That is a noble not, prophet. Even, not even the Quran calls him a prophet. Allah is one of the he does it. What does he call him? Messiah. And he's the, and he's the Messiah. Right. What does Messiah mean? The anointed one. What is what what is the function of Messiah? If you Google it, the one that is going to come back. No, listen. The definition of Messiah is the one who has come to redeem a nation. That's the definition of Messiah. So therefore, so so if when you're calling him Messiah, you are recognizing his role as a sacrifice. Yes, as a mediator for the whole of humanity. So it's either it's either prophet or messiah. No, 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 no. He's a prophet. He's a messiah. He's called a messiah. Let me finish. Let me finish. Sorry. You're sick. I like the way you talk. You're very respectful. He's a prophet. We believe. And he's a messenger. But we also believe he's the Messiah, meaning that every Muslim believes that on, before judgment day, yeah. Yeah, when the end of times are coming, we don't believe Muhammad is going to come back. Okay, let me ask you a question. We believe wait, Jesus is going to come back. Why, why wait, call him Messiah if you don't recognize his role as the mediator no, between let me God and man? Let me finish. Yeah. He's going to come back. You see what the contradiction is? It's not. No. It is. Let me, but let me finish and then you can tell me if it's contradiction, brother. We believe that Jesus is going to be the one that comes back. Okay. Yeah, with the, when the Antichrist is here, Jesus is going to come back and he's going to come and redeem all people. First of all, he's going to redeem the people that are not religious at all and tell them there is God, there is a Father. He's going to redeem the Christians and say, listen, I'm not God. You guys had good intentions, but I am not God. I'm not the Son of God, but true. Worship the Father. That's his belief, yeah? Huh? That's his belief. He's going to redeem everyone. People We've that already done that. Yes. This is the first I've ever heard of that. People that believe oh, this is the first sure. I've Listen, mm. people that believe Most Muslims gonna, don't, wouldn't agree with that. Of course, yeah, every yeah. Muslim believes that Jesus is the one that's going to come back. Every single Yeah, and Muslim. then kill the pigs and, and break the cross, that's right. What does that, what does that mean? Well, what does it, what does it mean about me? Because I believe wait, that... Wait, let me tell you why he breaks the cross. Right. Because Jesus himself says, don't have no graven images of me, of God. Oh, in Islam. Yeah. Yes. He said that. He says, don't and worship no symbols. So when he comes to redeem you guys, he's going to be like, guys, wait, 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 hold first on, of hold all, on, why hold did you, wait, 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 he's going to be like, first of all, Jesus, why, Jesus let me just never, finish, never, brother, he's going to be like, first yeah, of all, yeah. why are you guys, I told you not to have graven images, why do you guys have graven images? Second of all, guys, the where thing did, that killed me, you guys are putting it as where, a symbol. Where, 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 where did Jesus say all this? Where did Jesus say all this? Say all of this one. He didn't say this in the early... Where, where, where in the Bible? Oh, where, where did he say this? Did he say in, the in the Bible? In the Bible? Does where, Jesus where, where, not... Where? He never says any no, of this. He doesn't where, have, where, thou shalt not have graven images of, of God. No, he never said that person. No, Jesus doesn't. No. Does, does Jesus never said that. Jesus never said that. Jesus said that? Where? He never said that. Where? Where? Show us where. So what does he say? You mean the Old Testament or the New Testament? Where? Jesus wasn't in the Old Testament. What? Jesus Did Jesus say that? Jesus said that. Jesus never said that. Where? In the Old Testament, yeah, in the Torah, yeah. I believe that it says, Thou shalt not have given images. And Jesus reconfirmed but, that. No, he yeah, didn't. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Yeah. He never said, there's no way in scripture where he says well. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Yes. There's no way in scripture. What, what I'm saying is that you're talking about the person of Jesus. Okay. I think you're getting confused between Jesus and the Son of Man. The Son of Man became incarnate into the person of Jesus Christ, yeah? yeah. But you're saying Old Testament Jesus said, that doesn't make any sense because no, no, no. Jesus as a and, person and me, wasn't around there. And let me qualify. That's what I qualified. Yeah, you, you, you keep saying that. No, 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 I didn't right. say that. 
Okay, no, well, no, that's fine. That's fine. Said, you kept saying Jesus. No, 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 I never, I never. Right. Because Jesus himself says, don't have no graven images of me, of God. Oh. No, no, never. Did you I say Jesus? It. I said in the Old Testament, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, it says Jesus. about... Yeah, is that right? Am I getting it wrong? Jesus, bro. Well, I heard. Brother, let's not Did speak. I get it right? Let's, uh, let's just right, come right, and stay okay, sharp, right, bro. Right, right. Yeah? In the Old no, Testament, that. it's against... No, but it's not a problem. I, okay, if I did that's say that, that, it's fine. It's fine. I apologize. I, 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 I just want to make sure to correct you that Jesus wasn't alive in the Old Testament. Hey, there we go. My point is, yeah, is it against your religion to have graven images of God and idol worship? Yes, it is. is. Okay. It is. If you had the cross, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you use that symbol, yeah. not to pray for worship, is that a form of idol worship? Yes. Okay. If, we, if you so, worship the cross, yeah. if, if you we don't worship the cross, cross. if you yeah. use it, who worships the cross? Listen, 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 who does idol worship, who, yeah, worship, yeah. who worships a statue, yeah. there is no one that says that statue, listen, idol worship is not worshipping the actual statue, it's worshipping the uh, create something through the statue, that's what idol worship is. Who worships okay. let, me, let me qualify, let me qualify something. Let me, let, let me qualify something. Jesus, Paul says, I preach Christ and him crucified, yes? We're not talking about <coughs> a physical cross, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes? Yeah, yeah. We're talking about the function of what the cross is doing. Yeah. What I mean by that is, when Jesus died, there was a, the shedding of blood, yes? And that blood had a purpose. It was essential that sin is atoned for with blood. You see, you see Hold on, bear with me, bear with me. So, the cross was only the means by which the blood was shed. Is the blood symbolic? Yes. The, hold on. When he says Jesus Christ and him crucified, yeah. it means that his blood now has become uh, 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 a sacrifice, the only sacrifice that the Father in heaven will accept for sin of man, past, present and future. So what about it, the past? It deals Jesus. with it, past, present, and future. What about everyone that died before Jesus? Every, past, they used to kill. They used to kill a lamb, right? Past, present, and, and future. future. Yes. About the past, Absolutely. Yeah. Why do you think they killed the lamb? Before yeah. Jesus, they used, to, they used to kill a lamb. Okay. Why? Because Jesus, it was pointing to the coming yeah. Savior, who will be the Lamb of God, whose life and blood will be shed once and for all. So, so they, they had they a the they had a temporary so arrangement. Okay, they had, they had a, a temporary. Bear with me. They had a temporary arrangement to kill a lamb without blemish and to teach them that a savior will come and his blood will be shed once and for all for all you of mankind. Believe, you don't believe that Abraham was told to kill a lamb? Yes. And he was told to kill his son? He never killed his son. He never because he killed the lamb. Exactly. That's where it comes from. Bro. Okay, let me. It no, no, from, before, long it before it that. Come from because let me explain let me Abraham to his son. Really well. When explain. Jesus was crucified, you know, yeah. he didn't breathe. He blood from his hands and his. Can you hold this for me? Of course. It's not no way. No way. In the Old Testament, it says, No man shall bear the sins of his father. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. And no man yeah, can be punished for the sins of his father. Sure. Okay? Yeah. So, our forefathers, Adam and Eve, original sin, yeah. you know, is not the reason why Jesus died for our sins. Of course. Is, is that, it's not all the other sins, it's not See, every sin that we Did I not say to you that when Adam and Eve sinned, yeah, I get what you're saying. The, the, I understand what you're saying. The, the very, the very, um, I understand what you're saying, brother. You know what you could do, yeah? yeah. Give me a card because you seem like a straight up guy, like, like your personal number. So, for me and you could chat in it, yeah, yeah, you yeah, seem like a fine. good person to have in, in my life just to chat to, yeah. just to discuss things. You seem like you're respectful, you know how to talk. Yeah. You seem like yeah. you That's probably important. actually, yeah, it's very important. You're not charged, you actually want to learn, and you're, you're willing to teach as well. Yeah, so me and you, I'd like to have you to communicate with. Sure. To stay in touch with if you don't mind. That's fine. I want to speak to a few other people as well. Yeah. Me and you, we're going to stay here for time. God bless Respect you, sir. Over. God bless you, yeah? God bless. Yeah? You seem like a straight guy. So yeah, you sure. Card, you give me your no, card, I'll, I'll give you my you. number. Yeah, legend. What's your, your uh, number? Zero 07. I'll finish on this. The most important thing is, one day, me and you will stand before the throne of God. Every man. It's so important. This is not a. It's not a competition. No, no, this no, is no. about people's soul. Salvation. Yeah, you know, yeah. salvation. Yeah. People going to hell yeah. or heaven. You yeah. know, and we we need to source the truth yeah. and see exactly 
I believe you. I believe you're genuine about that. No, I'm genuine. Which I is why genuine. you're not talking over me. No, and no, I, no, I don't no, feel no, like no, I need no, to no. talk over you. You know, that's it. To be honest, sometimes, sometimes I lose. Sometimes, which is the flesh. Yeah. You know, but if but we've got to talk like this. Yeah, We've got to talk like this. Uh, I don't want. I will not have arguments and and, and quarrels and no, nah, man. I don't want to. Can do you guys do me a favor? Can I blow your face? Can you please be on? What, what's your name? Appreciate. I'll do. I'll do. Yeah. Yeah. your name, brother? JC. Bro. JC. I don't He's every week. Respect. Thank you. That's yours, bro. Oh, you want to carry the conversation? Yeah, no, he's going. He's going. Ah, okay, okay. You, 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 you. God bless you. Respect. Thank you. God bless you. He's a good example. Yeah, nice. He is. He really is. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. Bless you, bro. God oh, bless you. Brother Alex and Chris, yes, yes, yes. you want to do a wrap up both of you guys? Yeah, yeah. Uh, start, start you and then, and then, and then, and then pass the mic to... <laughs> oh, okay. <coughs> right. Sure, sure, thanks. So, I had a, <coughs> a, discussion, <laughs> a discussion with a Muslim who wanted to very much bring the classical arguments that Islam has against Christianity. So this involved things like the Trinity, it involved how we understand how Jesus is God, where did Jesus say he is God, and clearly presented uh, verses that talk about Jesus being God, how Jesus can be prayed to, how Jesus says in John chapter 16, verse 15 and 16, that he owns everything that the Father owns, is a clear divine statement. There is nowhere, no possibility that Jesus is not God, and therefore we affirm the divinity of Jesus. This is something that our Muslim friends don't understand and the debate very much took from there. And it carried on into other aspects as well, talking about Allah's body parts. And then it went into how God himself can become incarnate in both the person of Jesus Christ as both fully human and fully divine, and how that was possible. And it was actually quite a nice discussion. So it was, it was a good, good way of uh, ending Speaker's Corner, I think. God bless. Oh.